Hello, this is CJ Hoyle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly thread a Singer 1805C sewing machine. I decided to make this video because the PDF manual that's available online for this sewing machine has really low quality grainy images, which are really difficult to follow. So in this machine, the thread gets installed onto this rod up here at the top, and I'm actually missing the original piece that would go on here to hold the thread in place. So I just use a washer and the end of a ballpoint pen cap, which just fits on there nicely like that. And then this thread comes out from here. And the first place that it goes is into this piece here. And I do that by holding it with two hands and I pull it up here from the back. So it goes in like that. And then I pull this front edge around here like this. So it goes into that slot. Let me just show you that from another angle. So now moving on from there, the thread next comes through this thing here. And don't get fooled by this metal disc up here. That's just there for when you're winding the bobbin. What the thread actually does is it comes underneath here and then up and over there like that. So now before you go any further, you want to advance the machine so that the metal piece which is inside of the slot here is all the way at the top of its stroke up here. And you do that by rotating this wheel here at the top towards yourself like this. And there you'll see it's starting to come and you bring it all the way up to the top like that. But before we put the thread in there, we first want to follow these arrows and the thread comes down through here like this and then up this other side like that. And then we take this thread on either side like that and we sort of feed it back through there like that. And then you pull it forward so it will pop through that hole there. Let me show you that up close. So from up here, there are two final loops that the thread needs to go through before it gets to the needle. The first one is this spiral shaped one here. So the thread comes down through here like this and it comes in from the left side and you just rotate it through this spiral like that so it pops out the bottom. And then finally there's this one right here which is directly above the needle and the thread comes in here from the back and you just thread it in from the right side into there like that. And then finally the end of the thread goes into the needle. But let me just show you these two up close so you can see them a little bit better. And then finally the thread goes through the needle like this from front to back. But now we'll show you how to thread the bobbin. Now I'm going to do this with a different color of thread just to make things a little bit easier to see. And I'll also mention that this machine uses a fairly irregular shape and size of bobbin. You can see that it has sort of rounded edges on it and it's also thinner than standard bobbins. So be sure that you buy the correct size of bobbins that will fit this machine. So this little door here slides back like this, which reveals the spot where the bobbin needs to get inserted. You want to insert it so that the thread is coming out from the left side like this, not like this, like this. So you can just drop it down in there like that. So looking from the top view here, you can see there's a little slot right here and a smaller slot over here. And that's where the thread goes in and comes back out again. So you want to take your thread and drop it down into that groove there and pull it so that it comes around and comes out that other slot right there like that. So now you just want to take your bobbin thread and leave it sitting on top of the machine like this. And you want to grab onto your main thread over here and hold on to it. And then you take your wheel here and you want to rotate it towards yourself so the needle goes all the way down and all the way back up again. All the way up there like that. And if you pull on this, you'll see that other thread starts to pop through. And you can take a small tool like this and you can pull it in that direction. And there you can see the end of that thread. And you know you got this right if you pull on it and there's some resistance. If it just easily unspools, then it means that you probably didn't get it threaded through those slots there correctly. And just to show you that I've got it threaded correctly, I'll do a quick little test here. So I'll put the fabric on there like this. Come down here. So as you can see, that stitch looks perfect on that side. And it's also perfect on the other side as well with no missed stitches. So the final thing I'm going to show is how to load a bobbin using this machine. So the thread goes in here the same way they did earlier and the thread comes this way and it comes up through this piece in exactly the same way that it did before. But the difference is when you get to here, the thread comes over here on the left side of it and it goes on the outside of the disc 
and it curves around and comes this way. The end of the thread then goes into the bobbin and then you take this bobbin over to this piece here and it goes on top of there like that and you want to take this piece and you want to slide it over in this direction so it clicks like that and then you want to hold on to this end here and then you want to press on the pedal of the machine with it turned on of course and it will load the bobbin like that. And you let it keep going depending on how much thread you want to put on there and then you stop and you click it out of that position and you obviously cut this off and there you've got your bobbin. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.